As a rideshare driver, one of your most important senses is your sense of hearing. Verbal cues can sometimes give you information that can let you know when your passengers are potentially becoming unsafe. What up, folks? Once again, it is your boy Tim with another ride sharing video. It's always important to listen to what the hell is going on behind you or beside you as a rideshare driver. Whether you're driving for Uber or Lyft, there is no doubt you're going to be privy to a hell of a lot of conversations coming from the passengers. Many of them we do not even want to hear. However, it is important to listen to what passengers are saying. Sometimes it could be a prelude to you getting your ass kicked or something worse happening to you. And this story we're going to be telling you about is why it is important to listen to what the hell people are saying. Have you ever had a passenger? Despite our low ass salary, how little we get paid as rideshare drivers, believe you were deliberately trying to drive a longer distance to increase the fare. In rideshare, and that's bullshit. Now, in the taxi business, there were plenty of taxi drivers that would do this and essentially make a little bit more money. Drive them a few blocks out of the way, take them the long route through congestion and things like that so they could make more money. As a rideshare driver, we don't make shit. You're not going to make a hell of a lot more money by deliberately putting a passenger in traffic. The wait times we get paid is pennies. So it doesn't necessarily translate from the taxi market to ride sharing. Voice issues here. But in this case, we're talking about a woman from Kentucky, 48-year-old woman, down in El Paso, Texas, riding in an Uber, believing that the driver was not only deliberately taking her out of her way, he was trying to take her into fucking Mexico. So she believed the driver was trying to take her into another country. Obviously, we know Mexico is hella dangerous right now. Not only can you lose your life to take your cars and every damn thing else. This woman, 48-year-old Phoebe Copas, Believing the driver was taking her into Mexico, pulled out a gun and shot the damn driver. Daniel Piedra Garcia, 52-year-old driver, is now in critical condition, still in the hospital. Phoebe Copas is sitting in jail on a million-dollar bond. What makes this crazy is you have to ask the question, what the hell led up to this? What made her think this driver was trying to take her into Mexico? How the hell did that conversation go? This is where listening to what the hell your passenger is saying and how they're saying it really makes a significant difference. She had to first start out by asking questions peacefully, we would assume. Perhaps the driver tried to advise her, ma'am, that's not what's going on or whatever the case may be. But at some point, maybe you need to stop the vehicle and let this woman know I will get you another driver to come pick you up. And understand, folks, we've said it before on the channel. We've done numerous videos. Canceling trips is dangerous. Canceling trips while a passenger is in your car, in this case with a damn gun, is not safe. So it would behoove you to make up a sympathetic excuse why you need to cancel the trip. As opposed to suggesting, you're pissing me off, you're talking too much shit, I'm tired of dealing with your ass, I'm going to cancel the trip. Don't do that. That's what leads to violent altercations. My veteran drivers, I'm sure everyone watching has tried to cancel trips and had at least one passenger, if not get aggressive, at the very least, give you some choice words, maybe cuss you out, drivers have been spat on, drivers have had their ass beat simply from canceling trips. So be cautious about that. But if a passenger is insisting you're taking them in the wrong direction, ask them, how would you like for me to take this trip? Now, here is the authorities take on this, whether or not he was going out of the way. Police said the investigation did not support that a kidnapping was taking place or that Piedra was veering from Copa's destination. 
So the cops basically looked at the GPS route and things like that and determined this driver was doing nothing wrong. This bitch freaked out. She simply freaked out. So this is why I'm suggesting it is very important to listen to what the hell passengers are saying because she would have had to be behind them going the fuck off like you're taking me in the wrong direction. Stop the damn car and ask her, what's the proper path? I'm not trying to take you out of your way and I see you getting angry. What would you like me to do? Put it back on her. Now, obviously, we've talked about before having defensive tools on you, mace, something to slice, cut, or poke wood, everything from a, from a Stanley knife and a box cutter to maybe a screwdriver or a blade. And last but not least, up to and including a firearm if you're comfortable carrying that. Now, I understand the ride-sharing companies do not suggest that they don't even want us carrying a weapon at all. We've had drivers that were terminated for simply carrying a stun gun. But this bitch got a gun on her. She got a pistol on her. So understand just because they're telling you not to be armed, the passengers are getting in your car strapped up. So listening to Uber or Lyft suggesting you don't carry any type of defensive tool can get you killed. Do what you need to do to get back home to your family, not to continue making 80 cents a mile. Understand that. But I just wanted to point this one out because it is important. How many of you drivers out there, my veteran drivers, how many of you have had backseat drivers demanding you do what the hell they tell you to do as opposed to what GPS is telling you to do in regards to the route? Turn down this alley, make a U-turn, drive on the shoulder, speed up, slow down. How many of you had that happen? How do you respond to that shit? Because I understand if you respond in the wrong way, in a manner that the passenger does not favor, some shit like this might happen. It's your boy Tim. Subscribe to the damn channel. Stay safe out there. See you in the next video.